Before the rise of the internet, everyone saw more or less the same news. It came from TV, radio, and newspapers. The gatekeepers of information were people, with editors reviewing all the possible news and deciding what the public should see. Today, traditional news organizations are joined by countless other sources online. And on the internet, it is often computer programs that decide what people should see. When you search the web or visit a social media site, there is so much content available that a system is needed to filter the results. To predict what a user will want to see, online platforms use algorithms. An algorithm is a set of instructions that tells a computer how to perform certain tasks, such as how to sort information. Algorithms determine what content to show you based on a combination of what is popular and what they know about your attitudes and interests. When you create a social media account, you likely provide some basic information, such as your name, gender, and age. You might share other information without even realizing it. Each time you like, share, or comment on a post, that information is stored and used to build a profile of you. On the broader web, most of the actions you take are tracked and accessible by social media algorithms. It may come as a surprise how much an algorithm can learn about you through your actions. This data you leave behind is valuable because online platforms make money by selling advertising. Advertisers will pay to reach the people most likely to be interested in their message. The more a platform knows about you, the more effectively it can target you with personalized content and ads. Algorithms may encourage you to keep clicking, scrolling, or watching by displaying content that is popular, interesting, or new. Because the goal is to hold your attention, algorithms can favor content that is sensational, false, or misleading. There are times when algorithms can be helpful. For example, when a music streaming service suggests a new song based on what you've listened to before. But when algorithms determine the news or information we see, the consequences may be more significant. When information is personalized just for us, we can end up in filter bubbles. Filter bubbles form when we are shown only information we are likely to agree with. Being in a filter bubble can cause us to become less accepting of views that are different from our own. This can have a negative effect on democracy, which requires citizens to listen to one another and find common ground. Understanding why we see what we see online can help us to be more critical consumers of information. Our feeds never give us the whole picture, so we need to build the habit of seeking out news and information from a variety of sources.